But there's a big matchup tonight for many reasons. Uh, the New Orleans Pelicans visiting the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. And it is the first matchup between Zion Williamson, who many think is the next face of the NBA, and LeBron James, who has been the face of the NBA for 15 years or so. I think it's a big deal also because the Pelicans are actually playing really good basketball. They're three and a half games out of eighth place. And, of course, if they finish eighth, their likely first-round opponent would be the Los Angeles Lakers. So this could also be a Western Conference first-round playoff. Don't preview. hold your breath. Then, Don't hold your breath. Then here's the other thing. You got all the ex-Lakers on the New Orleans Pelicans. You got Lonzo Ball, who's actually having a nice little bounce back year. Brandon Ingram, who emerged as an all-star this season. Josh Hart, who was a heart and soul guy with the Lakers and still is that with New Orleans. And then, of course, you got Anthony Davis here in Los Angeles with the Lakers. So, I I mean, that, that would be a really storyline-laden first-round matchup, and it'd be great to see. But what we want to focus on is Zion made a comment in talking about LeBron. Do we have audio of that, Rob G? Okay, you, you can. I'll, I'll have you read the quote. Uh, go ahead and read what Zion said about LeBron. He was talking about LeBron at yesterday's shoot around, and this is what he said: "Quote: He said I used to watch film of him all the time, especially when he was in Cleveland that first time. He was just an incredible player to watch. He always held his own." And sometimes I feel he doesn't get the respect he deserves. But it's not for me to decide. You know what? Obviously, LeBron gets a lot of love. People have said he's the best player in the world for roughly a decade. Um, I view him as the second best player of all time. I think you do too, Rob, for all the, the, the hate you throw his way. I know you don't hate him, but you know what I mean. It's called uh, Um, analysis work. That's what I do. I'm an analysis. Is analysis making up a nickname for somebody? Yes. The derogatory nickname, the fafote. That ain't ain't derogatory. That ain't derogatory. That's fact. That's that, called that's fact. That's necessary for your analysis? Yes, it's called fact. He's not Chris the Broussard. finals failure. Jerry yes. West no, lost not. more finals than LeBron. Not when you talk about former MVPs. Yeah, that's why he's a full fold. Because I came up with it. Because I came up with it. Why not former with Hall of Famer? Or not no. former, but why not Hall of Famers? No. All-time greats. Because all the How'd MVPs. How you just decide MVPs? Because that worked for me. My you're narrative. Right, exactly. That's, all. that's my point. It worked. When you're, when you're really just spitting the facts, you don't come up with a narrative. No, those are facts. So there are – look, but the point is you do think he's the second best player of all time, I, I believe. Guess. You've been saying that for, for years. But now, you know, when it that comes out of your mouth and you're trying to now. paint me into a like, ah, oh, wow. Oh. No, but you do. You but said my, it. But my point is, look, Zion, sit down and stop it. What is this whole idea that LeBron doesn't get any respect? LeBron gets a ton of respect. And the reason that maybe he you feel that enough. way – enough respect, it's because he's lost six finals. It's because he's a vagabond. It's because he travels around the country trying to uh, work out a formula to win when other guys just stay in one place and win. Not That's today. why. Did Kevin Durant That's stay in why. one place? I don't care, but LeBron started it and everybody else finished place? it. Stop it. So why don't you stop Zion with this whole LeBron? What is he, an American Express card? Enough already. He gets plenty of respect and credit. I don't know. That's all. All the minions. Does he? Is he on Twitter? Is he on Instagram with all the LeBron minions who go crazy if anybody says anything about LeBron? There's plenty of people who have lo- who love and respect LeBron. Stop with the with the pity party for LeBron. He doesn't need one. So LeBron, wor- I mean uh, Zion, worry about your game. Come out and maybe beat the Lakers tonight, and maybe I'll give you an ounce of respect. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. LeBron doesn't get respect. That's the most ridiculous, asinine story I've heard. Wow. Look at you. And there's steam coming out of your ears. Don't clap for that badness. It was impressive that he could muster up that much fire, but it was just... I, look, hey, every once in a while. Gets, obviously, he gets respect. But I will say, this is where I'll say, and I'm going to speak for Zion. I think this is what he means. LeBron James is the most scrutinized player in NBA 
history. And he's also the most uh, uh, over-the-top, overexposed, social media, LeBron plays all of Is it. Is there you a can't, problem with you, doing no, social you, media? No, when you do both, then you can't act like you can't understand why people push back. When no, you go, no, here's I'm just, what I'm saying, though. But I'm, I'm not talking about people pushing back. I'm, just, I'm saying this. And, and, and it is only just a... He's a sign. It's a sign of the times. That's okay. That's just what like I, Michael Jordan, as great as he was, if he was and we both think he's the greatest. Di- he blew up in part. Cable TV was just starting. David Stern was the new commissioner who wanted to market individuals. You know what I mean? Like the expansion overseas. All of that helped. As as great as he was, Michael Jordan become the biggest figure ever but, in NBA history. But, but my point is, it is a sign of the times. And that's why when when people talk about LeBron's over criticized all the stuff because there's Twitter and all this stuff that people before Chris all you had was to read the newspaper columns right and a right. handful of people and, and you watch and whatever hand, games were on TV right and there were no debate shows there's none of that yes so so that's the but that that's the difference but, but it's it, still and you're right he gets great praise. He's celebrated. Obviously, he's making tons of money in part because of all this screen. And he could put his own. He also has a chance to do his own right? narrative yes, and all that. Yes. So, so it, that's it, fair. That's, that's all fair. I'm saying. But I was just watching over the weekend. I'm working out. You know, I'm getting it in in my little fitness center in my house. I'm on the elliptical. I'm hitting the incline machine. I'm doing my leg lifts. Yeah, but, but I'm Chris. Curl, doing curls. Rob is that, pre- watching sitcoms. No, but that, preparing for the Golden Girls cruise, and Bruce Art is getting it in. Okay, but I got a TV but, in my fitness center. But the only problem, and I'm, wait, watching, the only problem. I'm watching the 1983 Game Four of the NBA Finals. Philadelphia, you remember that. Moses Malone and Dr. J, they swept Kareem and Magic. Now, at this point, Magic was right in the smack dab in the middle of his prime. And Kareem was still, you know, toward in his prime, toward the latter stages, but still in his prime. And they got swept by the Sixers. Magic missed a free throw late, made a couple turnovers late. Kareem missed a free throw late. Rob, if LeBron James did that on a t- Thursday night in February against Sacramento, he would get crushed all day for it. That's what that's the difference. They didn't get crushed like that in the NBA Finals. And they're legends and we never look at that. We look at Magic in 83 or 80 you know as they called him Tragic 84, Tragic Johnson. But we don't we don't look at everything. With LeBron, we see the successes and the failures. With those before him, Magic, Kareem, even Michael, we only remember the successes because there wasn't the degree of coverage there is today. That's where Zion has a great point. You would have to admit that. See, he got nothing to say. That you know what that I, is. I Alan. disagree. I'm not even I, I just disagree. You, but it's not true. Uh, it's not. Do we talk about the the failures of all the other great all time greats the way not, we do Le- LeBron? LeBron, who has his own his nickname as the King and the Chosen on his back. Magic's and all the other nickname stuff. was Magic. No, that ain't that's that a ain't heck no, of a nick. That's no, the best nickname in king. sports history. I told you I recognize magic? one King in we this country. We don't even call him by his Burger name. We king. call him Magic. That's the only King I recognize. On that note, he got nothing left. You, you, y'all know what happens when he's getting, getting. When I'm taking him out to the woodshed, you ain't taking me in out a, to in a debate. No, he is, always goes trying to be Rob funny, G, Rob and G. he's just corny. This is this is where we are every show. I know, he ta- I'll he take ta- you no, to the woodshed. He, no, every, he no, he every takes day. it. He takes it up to the break, and then he he goes into this long <laughs> dissertation. And then he leaves me like 30 seconds, and you, then he goes, had, what you, do you got? What are you talking what about? You got? You what, what do you got? You had five minutes to rip Zion. You, you, had, you needed a break after that. No, but I'm just, I didn't need a break. I'm good. You, you sat you back and Let's, got, you were two feet away from the mic. Zion Williamson said the king, LeBron James, does not get enough respect or credit uh, for all the greatness that he exudes. What do you think? 877-99 on Fox. Let's start with GW. The always wise GW, Cincinnati. <laughs> What's up, brother? I appreciate it. What's going on, Chris? What's going on, Rob? Hey, let me say this real quick. For a guy growing up in inner city Cincinnati, I, we used to use the word poo-poo. 
Like, uh, you're trying to poo-poo or you're trying to downplay it. Yeah, I, that, you know, that's what I'm saying. No Rob acted deal. like he invented the phrase. I know. I didn't say I invented it. You didn't. You didn't. A half an hour ago, Rob said it. But other than that, we've been saying that for I don't know how long. Let me get to my point, Chris. The problem is, and I, Chris, I think you and I are around the same age. I know Rob is a little older. Yeah, so we grew is. up during the Magic and the Jordan era. But let me ask you, Chris, who was the Skip Bayless or Rob Parker back in the day saying, Magic shouldn't be called Magic. His name is Irving. Or who is this Michael Jordan guy with a gold chain in his signature shoe who hasn't gone to the finals in his first eight years? We didn't have that. There back was then. none of that. There was now Jordan did get criticized, and guys got criticized. Magic got criticized. All right, I was going to say when don't he was Tragic right. Johnson and, and, and don't act right. like it. But Michael, it just wasn't like Michael Jordan was criticized yes. that he didn't make other players better, and Ball all he could do was dunk, yep. and all that. That was those no, there, was columns was that criticism. were written. And it, and and I, in fairness, today that's all I'm saying. Today. Jordan, it would, and I'll be honest. I think even Skip. Now, I'm not saying he would have been an anti-Jordan guy, but he would have been critical of Jordan at yeah, times. I don't, I don't know if he or was at, at some whoever. point. I'm you sure know he what I mean? Probably was with his when column, his column then. in Chicago. Yep, I yep. mean, it were it wasn't always. But it a, just wasn't. You know, there's just what technology. That's what it's due. All to. right, Michael in North Carolina. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Michael? Hey, what's up, fellas? What's Love up? Love the show. Thank, Thank you, Bob. Uh, Rob Parker. I got to say, your story might check out because growing up in Brooklyn, I used to hear a lot of Jewish people say poo poo. You yes. might just be the king, man. Dude, I'm you telling know, you, that, 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 that I, I, it, I believe you. No, that seriously, it's that's what. Yeah, Yiddish. It's, it's no, an expression. I, that's the first but that's time not I in New York. I, like it, when I was growing up as a kid in New York. Yep. Um, but like I said, love your show, guys. Keep doing your thing. But now, Rob, I got to tell you, are you crazy? What? Yes, How can you is. come on the show yesterday? And say LeBron is in clutch, but then say he gets the respect he deserves. Ooh, ooh. He nah, gets respect. I wish I had thought can, of that. How, can, no, how yeah. can you say, how can you possibly say a guy that plays three out of four games in Kawhi is a better all around player when his career high numbers are LeBron's? What's happening, y'all? It's Chris Boussard. I'm Rob Parker, and we are LeBron. The Odd Couple. Check us out as system. often as you can on YouTube. Oh, I and I always you remember, the best I'm not it even play on the Oh, oh Michael, man, it ain't serious? just about. It's I'm not. It's girl, not just respect. about. It's just not about yeah, piling up stats. It ain't just about winning. Is big. Piling up stats. If Kawhi Leonard does what he, if he does what I think he's going to do this year, which is win a championship and go back to back years, two championships with two all time losing for two franchises who had never won. I won't say Toronto's all time because they're expansion, but you know what I mean. That would elevate his who he is. It really no, would. It would be huge. It would it be would elevate huge. his legacy. Am I now, right? I don't, he's just not a better player than LeBron. But his team isn't built Thanks around for the call, him Michael. like LeBron's is and are. But, you know, that can help you in terms of winning because he fits into the team. That's what I'm saying. You know? Right. It fits. Let's go to Max Rob Jr. <laughs> in Georgia. What's up, Max? We know we know your viewpoint. Go ahead. Junior Junior's in the house. Gentlemen, Junior. always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Listen, I had to get in on this. LeBron, he claims himself to be the king. Rob, you might be the poo-poo king, but LeBron <laughs> is the nana-nana-boo-boo king. That's, That's right. The poo king. That's his problem. He's all about himself. You know, respect is earned, fellas. Respect is earned. He hadn't won enough to, to earn that respect from everybody. Honesty is appreciated, and, and trust is gained. And he lost the trust of a lot of people, I think, with the whole China controversy. I really do. So I don't no, want to hear no, no. kissing of the ring going on he, here. I don't want to hear I don't think it. he lost any of that. Because here, look, as as much as we were critical of LeBron for not speaking out against China, Thanks I also call, say, Max. look, LeBron's one individual American. You got powerful American corporations kowtowing to China. So I, it would have been nice, but I don't expect him to take on China when uh, American Express and all these other companies, Nike, aren't taking on China themselves. I just think that there's difference, and this is the difference between like a Muhammad Ali when people try to say that Ali they're the great. did no, sacrifice I'm saying, more, no doubt. That's, that's, that's he all was I'm saying. To give it all he up. didn't care about all of the other stuff. He was right. not going to be told what to do or how to say or what to think. And that's all I'm going to say when you separate, when you talk about somebody's great. Muhammad Ali was. Leaps and bounds above a Everybody. lot of people, right? Yeah. Because he was willing to do that. Right. Same he gave thing. up the ultimate sacrifice. John for Carlos athlete. and those guys at the, at the Olympics. It's the same thing, Chris. Here's your moment. Yep. Here's your moment, and you know what? What's going on at home was worse 
than me standing no here question. winning, and I'm not going to act like all is hunky dory back at home. No question. I, I respect that. Let's go to Zach in Oakland. You're on with Chris and Rob. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for having me on the show. What's up, Thanks. brother? You got Are you on speaker? Seconds. Get you off got, the speaker. You got about 30 seconds. You got to get off the got speaker. You, got you, got you. Go ahead. That's better? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hey, I want to say, Rob, you been man, you got to step it up, man. Chris been giving you the finish lately, bro. You got to step lately? it up, bro. Man, 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 all the time. That's the, that's the story the of what our show, show. What show were you that's listening to? I give Every, Rob, I give Rob sources say, but for the other oh, here we go. two Please, hours and it. fifty minutes, <laughs> yeah. it's bloodshed. <laughs> He, yesterday, he came at, yesterday he came at you with facts yesterday. You still was not trying to listen to him. He came at you with facts yesterday. You Zach. still was sitting here like, oh, Zach, oh. Zach. Great stuff, Zach. Zach. Well, no, call, wait, yeah. wait, call wait. Time. Zach, being loud don't mean you're right, okay? So Chris is just loud. <laughs> I'm loud. He don't know what he is. He's been getting... leaving you stuck. Nah, he been leaving you stuck. It ain't stuck. I'm I not like stuck. Zach. I like Zach. Zach. <laughs> hey, Zach. I get love up in the uh Yeah, in whatever. Too, you in the Bay Area. You, you I was going to oh, get the number. What was the number for MC Hammer? Made y'all number area code popular. What four one five? What was it with the Oak Town three five seven? Was that it? Nah, that that was just Oak no, Town three five seven. What any anyway? San Zach, good call. Call up anytime. Zach, don't call again. What's happening, y'all? It's Chris Broussard. I'm Rob Parker, and we are the, the Odd, Odd Couple. Couple. Check us out as often as you can on YouTube. And always remember, I'm Oscar, and he's Felix. Oh man, are you serious? <laughs>